Musical instruments, other systems of classification. Welcome to the lecture series on Carnatic music. In this session, we shall discuss about the various systems of classifying the Indian musical instruments based on different measures. The following headings are covered in this session. Headings under which a detailed study of musical instruments can be made. Compass. General use. Number of notes that can be produced at a time. Status. Manner of play. Structure. With or without drone coupling. Stationary or portable. Derivative name or arbitrary name. Posture of play. Every musical instrument is complex in its own way. The detailed study of each instrument must answer several criteria in order to understand them completely. Let us now discuss about the headings under which a detailed study of musical instruments can be made. Used single or as a pair. Introduction Every musical instrument is complex in its own way. The detailed study of each instrument must answer several criteria in order to understand them completely. Let us now discuss about the headings under which a detailed study of musical instruments can be made. Its name and significance. Whether its name is derivative arbitrary or onomatopoetic, the main head or the subhead under which it is classified, whether polyphonous or monophonous, materials used in its manufacture, its varieties, its construction, the parts which are visible and the parts which are concealed from view, total number of parts and their names, the detachable or removable parts and the fixed parts, whether the instrument is provided with a Shruti coupling, if it is a chordophonic instrument, a the number of strings, number of used strings, how many are of metal or of gut or of silken thread wound round by silver coil, the gauge numbers of the strings used, the notes to which the strings are tuned, the strings that are stopped and the strings that are played as open strings, whether provided with tala strings and sympathetic strings, the systems of tuning adopted, example Panchamashruti, Madhyamashruti, etc whether provided with a keyboard as in the piano and bulbultara, if an aerophonic instrument, whether there are finger holes as in the flute or is a plain tube as the tiruchinnam, the number of the finger holes, whether it is keyed or a keyless instrument, whether it has a cylindrical bore or a conical bore, whether the tube is straight, curved, S-shaped or coiled, whether it is single reed or a double reed instrument, whether provided with a keyboard as in the harmonium and organ, if it is a membranophone, the number of its faces, their diameter, whether they are single or complex, whether they are tunable, whether the notes given by the different faces bear any relationship. If they are autophones, its construction, shape and the shape of its component parts, the pitch of the note given by it, its compass and tone color. 
technique and styles of play and the technical terms used in this connection. Example, Pidi style, Jaru style. Possibilities in speed. Limitations in the playing of gamakas. Its status, whether used as a primary instrument or as an accompaniment or both. Whether a concert instrument or one used in temple music, martial music or folk music. Whether used as a concert instrument or demonstration instrument or both. The purpose other than musical to which the instrument is put to. Whether practiced extensively or cultivated only by a few. Whether portable or stationary. The posture or postures in which the instrument is held and played. Places noted for the manufacture of the instrument. Its geographical distribution. Whether it is an all Indian instrument like the Mridangam or a provisional instrument like the Chendai. Its origin and history. The various stages through which it passes through before attaining the present form. The names of the earlier pioneers and the later specialists of the instrument. Also, the history and evolution of the technique of play. The ancient treatises in which the instrument is referred to. Keeping in mind these points, a thorough study of a musical instrument can be made. As discussed in the previous sessions, musical instruments of India are many in number. These numerous instruments can undergo several broad classifications based on their characteristics. In the previous session, we discussed how instruments are classified as chordophones, aerophones, membranophones and idiophones. This was an extensive classification. Apart from this, instruments undergo several other classifications. Let us discuss each one of them. Compass From the point of view of the compass or the number of octaves that can be played, musical instruments can be classified into Chatusthai Vadyam wherein music ranging over four octaves can be played, example violin, Tristai Vadyam, wherein music ranging over three octaves can be played, example clarinet, Dvistai Vadyam, wherein music ranging over two octaves can be played, example Kinnari, Ekastai Vadyam, wherein Music ranging over one octave can be played. Example, Mukhavina. Ardhasthai Vadyam, wherein music extending over only half octave can be played. Example, Magudi. There are also instruments with a compass of three and a half octaves. Example, the Veena and two and a half. Example, the Indian flute. The former will be a sardha tristhai vadyam and the latter a sardha dvistai vadyam. Instruments with a range of one and a half octaves can be called sardha ikstai vadyam. Utility. From the point of view of their utility in concerts, musical instruments may be classified into shruti vadyas, which are instruments used only as drones. For example, Tambura, Ektar, Dotar, Tuntina, Utte and Shruti Box. Talavadyas, which are instruments used only as rhythmic accompaniments. For example, Damridangam, Tabla, Ghatam, Ganjira, Taval, Dolak, Mursing, Jalra and Chipla. Sangeeta Vadyas with which 
Musical pieces and raga alapana can be played. For example, the veena, violin, gotuvadyam, flute, nagasparam and jalatarangam. All these three types of concert instruments are represented in the stringed, wind and percussion varieties. The following table gives examples for each of these. Stringed variety used as Shruti Vadyam, example Tambura and Ektar. Stringed variety Tala Vadyam, example Gettu Vadyam. Stringed variety Sangeetha Vadyam, example Veena, Violin and Gotu Vadyam. Wind variety used as Shruti Vadyam, example Uttu and Shruti Box. Wind variety used as Tala Vadyam, example Conch. Wind variety used as Sangeetha Vadyam, example Flute and Nagaswaram. Percussion variety used as Shruti Vadyam, example Shruti Stamba or Musical Stone Pillar. Percussion variety used as Tala Vadyam, example Mridangam. Percussion variety used as Sangeetha Vadyam, example Jalatarangam. General Use From the point of view of general use, musical instruments are classified into those used in concert music like the Veena, Gotuvadyam, Flute, Mridangam and Jalatarangam. Those used in temple music like the metallic horns, trumpets, Kudamura etc. Those used in martial music like the conch and the dundubi. Those used on royal occasions like the coronation of the king. Abhisheka dundubi is an example. Those used in folk music. Symbols, tuntina and nedunkural. Those used for demonstrating the various facts, laws and phenomena relating to music like Pradarshana Veena or Shruti Veena and Griha Beda Pradarshini. Number of notes that can be produced at a time. Monophonous instruments. These instruments are capable of giving only one note at a time. Example, human voice, flute and Nagaswaram. These are called Ekadvani Vadyas. Polyphonous instruments. These are instruments where more than one note can be played at a time. Example, Veena, Violin and Jaladarangam. These are called Bahudvani Vadyas. Status. Concert instruments like the Veena, Flute and Gotuvadyam enjoy the status of primary instruments or iron vadyas while others like the violin and sarangi are mere accompaniments or pakka vadyas. Primary instruments are either performed solo or to the accompaniment of other instruments. Eminent violinists sometimes give solo performances on their instruments. The violin on such occasions attains the status of a primary instrument. The veena is said to be a pavitra vadyam on account of its association with goddess Saraswati, the goddess of learning and music. Musical instruments also undergo another set of classification as given below. 1. Shushkam refers to instruments that sound solo. 2. Geetanugam means that the instrument is used as an accompaniment to vocal music. 3. Nrittanugam denotes instruments used as an accompaniment to dance. 4. Dvayanugam or Ubayanugam denotes instruments used as accompaniments to both vocal and dancing. Manner of play Manually played 
These are instruments that are played by the hand like the veena, violin, flute and mridangam etc. automatically played. Instruments like the Swavadita Tambura, Gramophone, Pianola, Musical Box and Clock Chimes which play on their own accord when key is given or some other electrical device is put in operation. Structure Shuddha Vadyam Instruments like the Veena, Violin, Flute and Nagaswaram which reflect a single unitary pattern. Misra Vadyam An instrument wherein two or more types of instruments are blended together to form a composite instrument. Jelectromonium or Jelectrum which can be played separately as a harmonium or Jalatarangam and also played in combination is a good example. The Pradarshanavina is an example of a Samastivadyam in as much as it can be used as a Tambura Go to Vadyam and a demonstration instrument with or without drone coupling. Sakala Vadyam, that is, wherein the drone is incorporated. In the Veena, there are the drone strings in addition to the playing strings. In the Magudi, there is a drone pipe in addition to the tune pipe. In the Nedunkural, there is the drone part in addition to the tune part. Nishkhalavadyam that is wherein there is not the drone coupling. Example the violin and the swarabhat. When such instruments are played a separate drone like the tambura has to be used. Stationary or portable. Instruments like the sthiravina were mounted and kept fixed on the banks of rivers. The currents of the wind dashing against them set the strings in vibration. This instrument corresponds to the Aeolian harp. The portable concert veena is called the charavina. The organ is an example of a musical instrument kept stationed at a particular place. The Akashavina was tuned and kept tied onto the branch of a tree. The current of the wind set the strings in vibration. Derivative name or arbitrary name. Idai Surung Parai that is Damaru is a derivative name because the shell is narrow in the center. Tabal is an arbitrary name. Some instruments bear onomatopoetic names. The instruments Jallari, Budubuduke and Urumi are examples. They are named after the sounds they produce, used single or as a pair. Mridangam is used single, but Jalra, Chipla, Brahmatalam and Tiruchinnam are used in pairs. The instrument Pampai consists of a pair of cylindrical drums. Posture of play Instruments kept in front of the performer on the floor and played, for example, Gotuvadyam, Pradarshanavina, Get to Vadyam, Harmonium and Damaram. Instruments held approximately in the horizontal posture and played, example flute and veena. Instruments kept in the vertical posture and played, example ganjira. Sometimes the veena and the tambura are kept in the vertical posture and played. Instruments held in oblique posture and played. Example, the sitar. Instrument suspended from the shoulder or neck and played. Example, idakka, timila and chendai. Some instruments are tied on the waist and played. Example, kinikkitte. 
Instruments like the Surya Pirai and Chandra Pirai are tied onto the forehead above a padding of cloth and played with sticks. Until now, we have discussed a huge number of musical instruments under different headings. The demand for such variety of classifications proves that Indian musical instruments are many in number ranging from simple to complex. With this, let's conclude the session. We shall meet up in the next session. Thank you.